Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the Pixar and Editing Lab. Today I'm going to be breaking down how you can use the drawing and the brush tool, so stay tuned to find out. Let's go over to the brushes section and we're going to be given four options. The first option is going to give us a very simple type of brush. It's also going to give us the option to change the size and the opacity. Next up we have a dotted line and then we have a glowy more type of brush. And the last option that we have is a more artistic brush and you can do little hearts, little sparkles, and again you can change the size and the opacity of this brush. If you want more brush options we can go over to draw and over here you're going to get a bunch of different colors that you can use as well as your own custom colors and a bunch of different brushes. You're also going to get some other options at the bottom like the smudge and the arrays. I really like the fill option. This basically means you can draw any shape that's closed and then just tap fill and it's basically just going to fill the shape that you've just drawn. So I really like the shape option. You can just click the shape and just draw it out and this is also quick and easy to do. In this example, I'm gonna be using the sale poster that I made. As you can see, the vibes are very like back to school Y2K. I'm gonna be using this brush that's gonna give us a very crayony, handwritten type look. Once it's done, I'm just gonna resize it, add a little bit of shadow, and then go over to the brush. And I'm gonna use these little hearts again, going off with the Y2K theme. And once I've put them in the place that I want, I'm just gonna erase it from the text to make it look a little bit neater. And this is what the final result looks like. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. As always, if you want to learn more about how to use Pixart, we have plenty of videos where we break down all the different tools that we have. You can also make sure to follow us on Instagram and TikTok. And if you found this useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you next week. Bye.